In this video, I'll be revisiting my transparent plastic procedural material tutorial and giving you two ways of creating this. Here's a quick rundown of the setup that I am using. I'm using Blender 4.2 with a Windows operating system, an NVIDIA graphics card, a custom startup file and the Cycles render engine. Just before I continue with the tutorial, let me remind you that you can grab this material and hundreds more on my Gumroad store, blenderbitesize.gumroad.com. So I am in the shading tab. I have the display render preview enabled. I'm using the cycles render engine and the graphics card to do all the thinking. Now I have got um, two ways of doing this. One is my old way, which I created for Blender 3, and one is a new way, which is basically using the principled BSDF node. But let's take a look at the old way first. So we have the monkey head selected. We'll click on new to add a new material. We can disconnect this principled BF, BS, BSDF. We'll come back to it in a second. But the first thing that I'm going to do is search for and add a glass BSDF node. And I'm going to plug that directly into the surface of the material output. So as you can see, that's already applied that. Now here is where we're going to draw the color from. So I am going to apply a sort of, let's go for a pinky color. Now the roughness, I'm going to leave at zero. And the index of refraction, I'm going to put at 1.2. Although the index of refraction for plastics is 1.46. So will that make a difference? Mm, let's put it at the new value of 1.46 and see how we get on. Now I am going to change this distribution mode to Beckman. And then I am going to search for and add a glossy BSDF node. I'll pop that just below the glass. And then I need to mix the two together with a mix shader because we've got two shaders here. So as opposed to a mix node or a color node, we're going to use a mix shader. So we can either search for it as we normally do, or we can control shift, right click and drag between the two to automatically apply one. Now I want to create a factor, so I'm going to use a layer weight node for that. Shift A as always to search for and apply nodes. I'm going to use the Fresnel value from this to go into the factor. And I'm going to set the blend to 0.2. Now I can isolate this to see to show you what's happening. So we've got the white values kind of creeping around wherever we've got um, the light coming around from the back of the objects and that updates as we go around. So go back to the mix shader and what I will do is go down to this glossy and update this to GGX. Drop the roughness to 0.15 and leave the other values as they are. Uh, actually, for that one, I'm going to increase the value to 1, so I've got pure white. I'm going to need another glossy node here. And again, I will need to mix this together with the mix shader with another mix shader. Oh, let's get that out of the way. And I'm going to set this value at 0 0.05. and increase that glossy value to 1 and drop the roughness to 0. So here we have that level of glossy and here we have that level of glossy. There's a very slight difference between the two and we're taking one value, not this one. So it's all, nothing, all, nothing. We just want a little bit of it. 
so we're going for 0 0.05 and that is my old way of doing a transparent plastic which you can see is just fine if I actually duplicate this head and send it to the back you can actually see that uh, we do get some refraction here so you can see kind of refraction coming through of that other monkey head here if I duplicate that and change the color you can see better that we've got the blue from that monkey head refracting through this transparent plastic although it's made out of glass anyway I said I had two ways of doing this for you so let me get rid of that one go back to this one and for this I'm going to use this principled shader so let me select all of this and press shift P to frame it and I will name that frame old method that by the way is using the node wrangler add-on I believe and we're going to take the BSDF and plug it into the surface so we've gone back to nothing here I'm going to copy and paste that color value and then we'll work our way down this principled node so the metallic there's no metal so we don't need that the roughness I'm going to drop down to 0.15 so as you can see that kind of reflects this roughness value here for the glossiness the index of refraction we're taking from this glass node so 1.46 and because the glass node would automatically apply some transmission we don't have that automatically so we need to increase the weight here of transmission to 1 and then to give us the extra glossy we're going to add a coat we're going to leave the roughness set at 0 0.03 and adjust this to match the index of refraction that we've got up here we could actually use a value node to control the both actually let's do that oops I didn't want to put it in there pull those over so if I plug that in here and in here 1.46 so there you go you don't have to type it in twice you can just use a value node to control that now for the weight I can either just push it up to 1 or leave it at 0 or I can use a Fresnel as I did here and plug that in the weight and change that to 1.460 in fact actually why don't I just control that with that as well so there you go that's one way of creating or another way of creating the transparent plastic using index of refraction and Fresnel values pumped through the similar values that we had here uh, but in the principled BSDF node now what I'll do is I will render both out so that you can see the difference or if there is indeed a difference so let's start with the old method that took around eight seconds which is not too bad and just in case you're wondering by the way there was a little compositing going on at the end I've got some denoise and some lens distortion going on here as well <coughs> um, right let's render out with the other one
Now that was almost three seconds quicker. So the previous one was about eight or nine seconds. This is coming in at just below six seconds. So that's a lot faster to render. Now what I will do is I will very quickly duplicate this monkey head. And rotate it. And what I'll do with this one is plug in the old method. And what I will do with this one is duplicate that material so that I can separate this out and just use the new method. And I'll send it through to render and we'll see the difference if there is any. Oops, I'll tell you what I forgot to do. I forgot to apply the transformations. So it wasn't picking them up. Now, this is the old method, this is the new method. For me, the new method has slightly better shading going on, and it was quicker, um, but we have a tiny bit more depth in the refraction over here. Honestly, if you looked at the two together, maybe you'd pick up a slightly more uh, contrast on the first one, but we've got a pretty good result especially coming in at five seconds. So there we go. I hope that has helped you and given you a couple of ways of creating transparent plastics within Blender. Of course, you can um, adapt this and, and change uh, all sorts of values. So do have a play and enjoy making and creating with your software. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And of course, any questions or comments are always welcome.